Those of you who haven't tried on shape yet, why not? It's a brilliant solution for new users, gives experienced users all the tools they need, and for teams it's unrivaled in its ability to manage your work, giving a single source of truth and always on access to your design data and related documentation on any device, wherever you are in the world. This is the first in a series of short webinars highlighting some of the standout features to be found in this terrific product. It's built from the ground up to eliminate the pains of traditional CAD. Managing files, the headaches of complicated IT, worrying about protecting your intellectual property are all problems that are eradicated by this next generation architecture Onshape is built on. So, get the kettle on, we're going to take a look at five features that make Onshape stand out from the rest. 5 in 10. Now we all know the headache of organising all our designs. Separate files for parts, assemblies and drawings. Then there's service documents, instruction manuals, diagrams etc. Keeping them managed and synced is a time consuming and laborious task. Onshape does this differently. Each product is kept in its own document, and now a document is not a file, it's simply data. Think of it as a container for all the IP related to any of your designs. It means that all of your design data is kept together, is parametrically linked, and hugely easier to organise and oversee. As you can see in this document here, at the bottom of the screen I have a series of tabs. These are the various work areas in my document. At the very bottom left, using this plus icon, I can add part studios, assemblies, drawings, renders, and indeed import data from my local machine. I can also create folders, and this immediately gives me the ability to organise all of my design data into logical and easily managed structures. Here you can see I have all my part studios in one folder, all my assemblies in another, here are my drawings including the brilliant assembly managed bill of materials. Further from this I have non-CAD data included as well. Using Onshape's inbuilt render studio I have a series of professional grade renders for design review meetings, marketing, customer facing. I also have another folder that includes all the related documentation for the product instruction manuals, service guides, certifications, adverts etc. I can use the tab manager on the left hand side also, which includes thumbnails to more clearly see what each tab includes. Traditional CAD packages using the old fashioned files offer nowhere near this level of control and logical management. You always have access to the most recent version of any of the CAD data, nothing is replicated, and because of Onshape's SaaS or software as a service architecture, nothing is ever lost. Brilliant. Create Selection is a terrific and useful tool when you need to select a lot of faces or edges to keep as a single reference in a feature. We'll take a look at Edge Selection here. Start by right clicking in the background in the Model View area and go to Select, then Create Selection. The dialog box gives you the option to choose faces or edges at the top and there's a drop down list for the different ways these entities could be interrelated. So let's look at the different selection options available. The equal length radius option selects all entities at the same length or radius within the model. The parallel selects all edges that are parallel to the selected edge. Tangent connected does what it says, all edges tangently propagated by the original line. Loop chain connected, great if you want to select all of the edges on a surface that has no regular or no rounded corners. And when you're happy with what you've selected, just press the add selection button at the bottom to add them to the current feature, 
or pre-selection prior to a feature. A couple of additional tips. If the feature is part of a pattern, don't forget to check the Select Patterns checkbox, so all the faces from each instance will be included, or indeed the edges. You can continue to add new selections after pressing Add Selection to add to the cumulative selection until you press the X in the top right corner. As you can see, there are many options to save you mouse miles here. More importantly though, you ensure that selection is done right from the start, and the likelihood of missing edges is massively reduced, so your models always respond and update as you need them to. Mate connectors are the key to Onshape's innovative and simple to manage mating technique. Normally, when defining mates within an assembly, implicit mate connectors are used to define how components are connected and relate to each other. These are typically located on a face, a vertex or along an edge, and they act as a coordinate system with their own X, Y and Z axes. We've got another option, explicit mate connectors. These can be defined in a part studio using the mate connector tool in the toolbar. Once defined, these stay with the model and are listed in the feature list, and can be selected when defining mates. Just think of them as placement references. They also allow components to be mated as you insert them into an assembly by using the snap mode. One or more explicit mate connectors must be defined on a component in order to utilise snap mode when inserting it into an assembly. Now, Snap mode allows you to automatically mate two parts by simply dragging one mate connector over another. With Snap mode enabled, simply hover over a mate connector and the explicit mate connector defined on the component being inserted snaps to the mate connector in the assembly. The primary axis of the component can then be flipped by using the A key on the keyboard. The component can be rotated about its secondary axis by using the Q key. Once placed, a fasten mate is added to the mate list in the assembly. The mate can be edited and the mate type can be modified by selecting the different types of mates from the drop down. Now, how simple is that? Typically, in traditional CAD, it's fairly simple to apply an emboss or engrave feature onto a geometry with a planar surface. The normal workflow is to generate a sketch on a datum plane, surface or planar face, and simply apply an extrude to add or remove geometry. However, applying a similar workflow and adding text, for example, to a cylindrical feature tends to be more complex, and I know from my experience that it can be a tricky procedure. To alleviate the problem, Onshape developed this wrap feature. The wrap feature allows you to easily wrap a surface or a sketch entity around a cylinder. To apply a sketch, some text or an imported DXF sketch, select the wrap feature icon located along the top of the interface on the main toolbar. It looks like this. Once selected, the wrap dialog will appear with several options displayed. At the top of the dialog, you can select solid body, surface body or split face. Additional dialog options will appear depending on your selection type. For instance, if the solid body option is selected, Boolean options such as New, Add, Remove and Intersect will display. Additionally, the Trim to Target checkbox and the Thickness option appear. The Trim to Target checkbox hides the tool when it goes behind the borders of the target. Whereas the Thickness option provides thickness to the selected entity. To perform an emboss feature with the wrap tool, ensure the solid body option is selected and choose the add boolean feature. Conversely, to perform an engrave feature or a deboss, while the solid body option is chosen, select the remove boolean feature and just remember to switch direction. Like the solid body, when the surface body option is chosen, the trim to target checkbox displays. However, when the split face option is selected, the boolean options, trim to target and thickness options are unavailable. Next, click inside the tools field and select the sketch entity in the feature list or the graphics area. And after that, click inside the target field and select the cylindrical face in which the wrap will be applied. 
Select the arrow to the left of the position name to expand additional dialog options such as Angle, U-Shift and V-Shift. The Angle option requires a value in degrees to rotate the entity. The U-Shift option transforms the entities along the circumference of the cylindrical geometry. And the V-Shift option transforms the entity along the height of the cylindrical geometry. In addition, within the graphics area, the triad manipulator, these arrows and curves, is shown and provides you with similar functionality as the position options within the dialog box. And just simply select the green checkmark button to accept the options and exit the dialog box. Incorporating the wrap feature in your daily CAD workflow helps you streamline your design and provides an easy solution to apply emboss or deboss features to your cylindrical geometry. Unshaped collaboration tools have been enhanced to include the ability to allow markups in the comment section. In the comment dialog, select the markup button in the bottom right. It will take a snapshot of the current model or drawing and activate Unshaped's markup tools. There are six different tools to use that can be varied in colour and line weight. You can snap lines and arrows to standard 45 degree angles by holding the shift key or placing them. You can hold control to force an elliptical or regular shape to draw from the centre point. You can also use a shift to force an equal aspect ratio to create circles or squares. To complete the markup, select the check mark on the tools interface. The markup will appear as an attachment on your comment. Now you can type in a message and assign it, if needed, to the user. The image will be visible in the comments dialog for all users. Click once to make the image full size. Right click to save the JPEG image for a meeting agenda or a report. So hopefully with your first 5 in 10, you've seen some of the features that make Onshape such a standout product. If you need any more details or you'd like some information about what Unshape could bring to your business, get in touch with us here at Concurrent Engineering.